Alex here. I'm um, doing another video today. I'm going to show you uh, two things that I found in Firefox 3, uh, the Beta 5. That I think it's really cool. Uh, the first one, I'm not exactly sure what it's called. I have to look in a minute. But the page loading thing, the little blue thing in Safari at the top, right in here, with an add on. You can have that in, Fi in Firefox, as you just saw there. And the add-on that you need to have to use that is Fission. And you can download that. Uh, just Google it. I'm not sure if it's with the Firefox extensions, but it probably is. And uh, if, you, if you search over the Internet, you can find the actual color, um, the image URL for the color of the Safari one. But you can actually click the color thing and make it any color that you want. And you have a couple little options down here, like the pro it'll just have the progress bar at the right of the address bar will just have a small loading thing, kind of like it would be kind of like the thing at the bottom of the Firefox page if you have that turned on. Um, I'm not sure about the connection status at the right of the address bar. And the active link, mouse over link in the address bar. I'm not exactly sure what that is either. Okay, so that's the first thing. Okay, and then recently looking at CNET, I found a website called userstyles.org. This is a pretty cool website. Um, it basically lets you change the look of what websites that you visit frequently or whatever. I mean, it doesn't have every website, obviously, but popular websites um, they have that you can there are different styles that people have made now, I'm not sure how you would make that but if you do know how to make that you can submit it to this website so I'll go to site styles and this is just the popular ones um, Google, YouTube, Facebook Wikipedia, um, Pirate Bay Yahoo, MySpace, Dig, all that good stuff and if you click here I actually haven't clicked this link before, but, um, there we go. Okay. Well, that actually is quite a long list. Uh, so, yeah, maybe <laughs> it's got quite a bit. Okay. But just for show, I've actually already, well, first off, in order to be able to use the styles off of this, you need to install a plugin for Firefox and it works with Firefox 3 called Stylish. And you can download it right here uh, by clicking the Stylish uh, link up there. And you know you just install it, that's it. As you, um, you really don't have to go through and set any preferences or anything. You can go in and add codes to the one to the styles that you've added but I don't know how to do that so I'm not messing with it. But after you've installed it um, what you'll do is, you know, we'll just go to dig.com, for example. And here are the little design things that people have made. So, let's, let's find it. Okay, we'll just go dig.com dark. We'll click that. That has a 4.75 rating. And sometimes right in here, well, this one has screenshots. But a lot of times they'll actually have pictures of what it looks like. But you can just click the link. I'll open it in a new tab. And that's what Dig Dark looks like. Uh, looks pretty good. Um, I've actually already got one installed for Dig. But since I've already got Stylish installed as my plugin on Firefox, all you click is load into Stylish. And this will come up. And then all you do is save. If you want to add code or anything, I'm pretty sure you click Advanced. But I'm not going to add that because I've already got one for Stylish. I mean, not for Stylish, for Dig. So, we'll go to Dig. Oh, evidently not. Maybe I deleted it. Hmm. Let's see. I'm not exactly sure which one. Yeah, this is the one that I have. So, I'll show you. We'll load it into Stylish. Click Advanced. You know, this is the actual code, and I'm sure, yeah, insert, this is where you do it. And you just click save, we'll Just this is what you'll see, and you just click save, and that's it. 
So when you go to dig.com, yeah, this is the beautiful dig style, and this is what it would look like every time you go. Now to delete them, you go to tools, and once you've installed stylish, you'll see a little stylish thing here. And he right here, the dig no ads and beautiful dig. Yeah, that's the one that I had for dig, to where you get rid of all the ads on it. Um, if you if you want to delete them, you just go over here to Manage Styles and click it. And here's the list of all the ones that you've done. Um, we'll just, and you just click it, and then you click Delete. It'll ask you, do you want to delete it? And you just click Delete. And as you can see, Dig immediately changes um, back to the just regular. Of course, this one doesn't have ads because I still have another stylish. But we'll go over here back to the Site Styles. And we'll look at YouTube. YouTube gets a little boring after a while with all the white. And I actually like a darker web pages. So let's look at this one. Dark and theater style. Doesn't really show what it looks like. But we'll add it. Save. And then we'll go over here and go to YouTube. And that's what this one looks like. Uh didn't look all that great in my opinion so we'll try a different one we may need to go in and delete the other one I'm not sure okay well, this one's not much better. Uh, we can log in. Yeah, this one's really not much better. It kind of looks kind of bad over here with the text and such. But you get the idea. Um, it's pretty cool. App styles. I haven't really looked at these. Uh, transparency, Crystal, Firefox, all this stuff. Um, you know, feel free to go through these. I'm not exactly sure uh, what these do, and I'm really not sure what the global styles is either. But I uh, just wanted to go through. I thought it was pretty cool, and I figured I'd make a YouTube video about it so other people can can find it if they don't know about it. Um, but yeah, there, there's a bunch of different cool things. Uh, I don't know if anybody, as far as the Google one, I'm not sure if anyone's heard of the black Google. Uh, but it's actually kind of cool. You know, Google's all white all the time, all this stuff. And uh, actually, when you click Google, you get a whole lot of Gmail stuff. So if you have a Gmail account, uh, let's see. Here's a Gmail brushed. Uh, I'm assuming like the Mac OS 10 or Leopard or whatever. Yeah, and see that's that's the picture of what it would look like, which doesn't look too bad. Uh, I actually have a Gmail account, but I don't use it. I prefer Yahoo, the new Yahoo Mail beta. Well, it's not beta anymore. It's just Yahoo Mail. Um, so yeah, but that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and um. Uh, if you haven't watched my other video that I uploaded well this morning um, while I slept, it's the new TV. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, check that out. Uh, all that good stuff. Leave me a comment if you like this website, all this stuff. Uh, but hopefully you'll have some fun with it. I did, and uh, I know you probably will too. But thanks for watching, and goodbye.